are all set. All right, let me switch over my title and stuff. Get this going, chur. Boop, 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 boop. Boop. Boop, doop, 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 doop. All right. So again, this game is called Coreborn. It's actually based on an IP that I had not heard of before. So I'm looking forward to checking it out. Many of you probably already know what Coreborn is. Nations of the Ultra Core. Yep. Mm -mm. There we go. There's some more information in the Coreborn command. We also have a profile button up. And of course, we want to give a big shout out and thank you to the developers for sponsoring the stream today. We're playing it for about an hour and a half today, and I think a little bit more later as well. So. Would be fun. Let's see. Let's go into early access. So if this is a kind of thing where you want to check it out yourself, you can do that. And thanks to Blank Blankons and Corborn for sponsoring the stream. There we go. All right, let's check it out. We're starting it from the very beginning. So we can kind of see everything together. Blur. Let's have a chat for now. Okay. Let's try it out. I was expecting you. <laughs> the uncertain times, good for which is being for this. People come to Naga with gold, asking about the future. Say. People divided over diamonds, ambition, and power. All meaningless when destruction comes. And all it came. Twenty-five years ago, when Sorg of the Devourer invaded Torment Rusia, the nations fell one by one until the last six tribes united. Hellenists brought what they love. Money. The lands were tamed by Sormancer's beasts. Nusmerians calculated the secret formula, and skin dwarves brought it to life. While genetics muscles kept mutagens pumping, the children of the source awakened the heart of the machine. The voice this actors are going hard. Old yes. Tracor was born. <laughs> protects us from Sorgos wrath. That's the past. The future is for you to forge. You can reclaim the vivid lands and restore their former glory. Unite the fallen nations under the bright light of Mother Core. She's throwing a small thing. <laughs> what is like is that are those bagpipes? Okay. Nation hedonist. Okay. Um. All right. <laughs> this is starting off with a bang. Uh, good time to mention, by the way, this is early access, so a lot of the stuff isn't in yet. If you're wondering why some of this looks a little a little more basic, it's because uh, they're they're still testing the mechanics and everything. <clears throat> Cool. Okay. Well, I guess we're going right in. Right. Hey, Brendo. There you are. Finally. The expedition is already waiting for us. They sent me to pick you up and give you a quick intro. Guess that has to happen along the way. This direction. Follow me. We're already late for your journey. Come, come. Well, dang. You okay. know, Sorgoth destroyed everything and all. Probably heard about it, right? Well, not here. Because, my friend, this is Korhai, Cradle of the Ultra Core. See that big thing shooting the wonderful shield? Right behind you. Look to the sky. A beautiful oh. machine, isn't it? It can be seen from everywhere in this world so that people can find their way to our shining gem of a capital. I mean, okay, there is some dirt there and there, but at least we're safe from Sorgoth and his minions. We can trade. 
meet people for adventures and such. You should try all of that, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, we need to catch a ride. Right this way, quick. Because you, my splendid friend, are a Corborn now. One of the fortunate souls who earned the spot among the first settlers to proclaim Ambrose. That the first reach of the glorious shield of the magnificent Ultra Cord has secured. Although, it's not as welcoming as it used to be. But, you'll find out about that soon enough. Oh my, these rascals are leaving their scrolls everywhere. What's this even supposed to mean? F1? Huh, how curious. I gotta clean that up later if I don't want to get in trouble with the Praetorians. Anyway, nice touch. What was I about to, uh. Oh, yeah! You are a Corborn, so your job is to travel to Ambrose and build a town. To do that, gather resources, make tools, forge weapons, and put things back in order. A lot to do, but luckily, there's more adventurers like you. Speaking of. Ah! They are about to leave! Right over there! Hurry! Speak to the guy with the map. He's in charge of all travel business, and he looks really angry. Are those like mole soldiers? I wish you all the best. Safe journey. Make me proud. Wow. I get so emotional these days. Okay. Yes. After accepting the mission awaiting in Korheim, your group departed along a set route to the Moldiers. outskirts of Ambrose. Like Inside a simple wooden carriage, you traveled shieldwards. Further aid would wait you there. You shared drinks and stories on the way. And as night fell, you decided to bed down. Some resting outside while you stayed in. Calmly sleeping, you were jolted from sleep by sudden screams, thrusting you into a cruel and haunting scene. Crimson mist crawling, a dense haze filled the air, gruesome figures, allies threatened on the ground, towered by Sorgoth's hordes, then splintered wood as your carriage burst open, and the blow engulfed your world in darkness. Oh, we're dead. As you awoke, you were robbed of everything and alone in the mission to reclaim this world. <laughs> well, okay. You still got my loincloth. <clears throat> oh, it's Grasshopper. What's up, buddy? Nib the jib. Leg's still shaky, huh? That'll pass once you get moving. Grab some twigs at Viber, tie them up, and improvise yourself a sword, okay? Come back as soon as you got them. Yes? Okay. Um. And by pressing E. How do you focus on them? Oh, I guess we need, like... Oh, these? These guys. There we go. Okay. And we good. Is this a survival game? Yes. Yes. At heart, this is a survival game. There you are. Okay. We got twigs. We got fiber. Wonderful. Please put some pants on. No. Together and we'll get you prepped for your task in no time. Well, that dude looks like they know what they're doing. Open your crafting menu with C, find and craft the twig greatsword in your inventory eye. You can then equip it by dragging it over your weapon slot. Inventory. Weapon. Okay, cool. Oh, okay. Not entirely sure if I would call that a sword. Rude. But you surely did your best. Ready to hunt some creatures? See if you can track them down in the fields and forest around and make sure to come back after. Okay. Put your improvised weapon to good use by scouting the nearby area for creatures. Tap control to dodge out of their attacks, but keep an eye on your stamina. Oh, wow. That is some Michael Jackson-style dodging. I like it. 
Uh, we need to hunt Oropala and hunt a deer. In the forest. I guess this is the forest. This does look foresty. Do I have a map? I do. Okay. The music is nice. The graphics are nice, too. What are you? Whoa. You are spongelicious. Is this what I'm supposed to be killing? What is this Q thing filling up? Nope. Okay. Loot it. Resin and thin leather. Okay. Oh. Get this mushroom. Yeah, buddy. Got me some jib cup. Isn't that dude's name Jib? Oh. Wait, is this the same thing I just killed? I don't think so. Maybe? Right in the Jib? Right in the Jib. Why'd I switch games? We're checking out a game right now called Coreborn. Uh, I was I was um, scheduled to do a sponsored stream of this for a while before the Remnant 2 stuff. Um, so we're playing this for the until about 11.30. And then I'm going to take a lunch and we're going to play some more Remnant after that. This is Coreborn. This is a, a game that's currently in early access. It's a survival game that's based on a um, very unique IP that already exists. So it's got a lot of kind of like meat in its backing and everything. So uh, it's a survival game, which is the reason I wanted to check it out. And apparently it allows like freeform building and all sorts of fun stuff. So that's what we're going to kind of be exploring in these sponsor streams we're doing with it. Yep, yep, yep. There's more information in the Coreborn command if you want to check it out. Keep in mind it is early access. So they, you know, clearly have some stuff to work on. Oh, I get slowed down in the mud. Nice. Okay. Um, It doesn't show me what direction I'm moving on the map. I wonder if we can get like a map upgrade or something. What is this other thing we're looking for? A Hedy. Not these things. These are the things that I've already killed. Oh, maybe it's that. That looks deerish. Sorry, buddy. Uh, let's take a look in the options. Let's see if we can turn off the screen shake. It's a little much. Nope, that's a Orsveer. Okay, not what we need. Uh, looking at our options. No, to, oh, reduce motion is not selectable yet. So I'm guessing that's coming. Okay. Cool. Getting some slight team or uh, screen tearing. Can't turn on V-Sync. Uh, let's try full screen. Let's do 1440. Turn on some V-Sync goodness. Oh, we can just travel to Korheim from here. Okay, support ticket. Okay, cool. Is that a little better, chat? Looks good on my preview. How's that look for you guys? Better? Great. Thanks, chat. Somebody's building over here already. What a kite. What do you do with a kite? Huh. Okay. Looks like there's a few out here. I wonder if that's some kind of resource generator. This we'll find out. All right, it does specifically say... Oh, oh, hunted deer in the farmlands. I guess this is the farmlands. Oh, is that it over there? Let's go check over there. Maybe that's one right there. Don't steal that dude's kite. I'm taking it. That's my kite now. Mm-hmm. You look hay deerish. If I was a hay deer, I would look pretty much exactly like this guy. A flower goat. All right, what's this do? Ooh. Okay, so it's like charges up a super we can use. Nice. Grain, meat scraps, and thin leather. Do we have an inventory limitation? Oh, a gift from Nib. Usable. They use. 
Okay, definitely need to make it so you can right-click or double-click on them to use. Tiny bandages. Six slots. Tiny natural incense. Raising your forging focus and enhancing your abilities in the field. Interesting. No sorting yet. That's something I'm guessing they'll probably add. All right. Go back and talk to this dude. Mm -hmm. This game looks like something from the early 2000s. Um, well, this game is early access, and usually the latest stage of development is making the game kind of look pretty and adding in optimization and, and shadows and lighting and all that stuff. If you notice, we don't even have shadows right now, really, at all. Barely. Um, so this, again, this is mostly to kind of get the core gameplay down and everything, from what I understand. Yeah, polish is the last thing they do, and this, is, this game is still very much in development. I actually like this place. Now, we'll need some flax and reed puffs to get you some protection. Check your map for the closest body of water. That's where you'll find the reed puffs. And me as well. Once you've ventured out on your own. Time to get up some more, collect flax to craft linen and look for reed puffs near the water. Open your map to know where to go. Okay. I really wish they'd make it so your character actually had a little arrow pointing where they were looking. It'd be super useful. Do I have a, a cardinal on the screen at all? I guess I could use uh, waypoints. So like there's the big field in front of us, probably this guy here, so we wanna go like over this way. Maybe that's what they want us to do. I'm not really sure what the intention is. They wanna make it super easy QOL or maybe they don't want it to be necessarily hold your handy. I'm guessing those are reed puffs there. Go ahead and just forge all of this. All right, so we got two reed puffs. Uh, now we craft. There's linen. We need more flax. Where was the flax? Is it this stuff? No. Oop. Smoky jib. Some of that smoky jib, man. Flax, I think, is something that you grow on a farm, generally, isn't it? Am I thinking about that right? It's like a, it's like a farm crop. So is it in here somewhere? Or maybe that's it. Oh. What about over here? Rude berry? Oh, rude berry. I thought it was called rude berry for a second. Maybe that's it. Let's go check this over here. Mm -mm. You look flaxy. Are you flax? Oop. Up. Oh. That flax? Dried wheat sack. Okay. Hmm. Didn't the Hadir give you some flax? Give me some grain. I don't think it gave me any flax. Oh, here we go. It is this stuff. Okay, so we gotta we gotta harvest the, the blue stuff. Oh, there we go. Great. I did not know flax. Was, wait, I got a mystery pouch. Regular armor patches? Okay, cool. The gift from Nib. I got, looks like a nut. I got Nib's nut. A lightweight augment that adds a slight heaviness to the blade, granting a minor boost in attack power. I can't use it on there. Any healing pot, we'll put that down there. All right, let's craft some linen. Okay, so we crafted two. I need two more flax for this. Now we know what to look for. It should be a little bit easier. 
Mmm, some nice music at this part would make a, a big difference. Oh, uh-oh. Oh. Also playing the game. Go back in. <laughs> the game did not like your suggestion. No, no, it didn't. It was not it was not a fan of, it's like, oh, you want music, huh? Well, you should be happy you're just playing the game. Crash. Mm. Freaking entitled gamers. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Uh, Thagram, I don't think I don't think we're quite ready to do the other channel rating stuff yet. Um let me check. Mm -mm. Do, 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 do. Oh, you got to restart the game? Okay. Let me try that. Do, 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 do. Let's give it a second to catch up here. Bum, ba, bum, 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 bum. Oh, Play Corborn says, better to restart the client. Thank you, thank you. Oh, and by the way, Play Corborn in chat is one of the developers. Uh, so if any of you guys have any questions about the game, where it's heading, that kind of thing, feel free to ping them. Let me give them a sub so they're easier to see. There we go. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Appreciate it. Oh, regular guy beat me to it. Well, dang it, regular guy 314. I appreciate that. Thank you. Okay, here we go. I'm going to take out my sword. Oh, I am cold or something. Uh-oh. Okay. How much do we have now? Oh, didn't craft the linen. But now we have enough flax to do that. So let's do that. We can craft two. There we go. Great. All right. Let's head back to our duder, who is right at the end of this area. Has this game released? No, not yet. This game is currently in early access. However, you can, uh, if you want to um, play in early access, you can. It is available on Steam currently. There's a Coreborn command in chat you can click on if you want more information. There's a link in there. It'll take you right to it. We also have a profile button as well. So, uh, however you want to do it. Why am I naked? Um, because I like the feeling of the summer rain on my skin. Mm -hmm. Is it one or two hour sponsor? Today we're playing for about an hour and a half until about 1130. And uh, I think we're going to be doing another stream in a little bit as well. Not today, um, but later. Yeah, we're going to be doing another stream as well. Oh, can we go right by the guy? Yeah, my biggest point of feedback so far is having a little arrow showing where we're forming on the map. That would be great. Um, let's see. Hi. Got all I asked you for? Nice! With that stuff, you should be able to craft a cloth tunic. Go ahead, make one. Okay. Cloth tunic. Oh, I don't want to wear clothes, though. Do I have to? I guess I do. I look a little better. I have a privacy flap now. That's good. That's good. Okay. Oh, Lord. Did I? Did I? No, okay. I got my lung cloth on. I was going to say, geez. You Ooh. look good. I'm sorry. Been hanging too much with heat on this lately, but whatever. When crafting things, you'll never know what to expect. Okay. The outcome varies from object to object. But give Whoa. it a try and see for yourself with some pants. Okay. Armor and other equipment with stats will randomize their values within a range when crafted. Gather what you need for two cloth pants, then craft and compare the stats. Equip the one you'd like to keep. Okay. Take a look at cloth, cloth pants right here. Uh, we need more linen. We need three linen, so we need six linen. We already got the reed puffs, so we just need to basically go get some flax. Flax sarumi. Let's grab some flax. There's some music. And it's chill. Nice. 
Is there anything new in this game or just like all crafting survival? We are very much exploring this game in the sponsored stream. So we're gonna kind of see what sets it apart, what makes it special. And, uh, and I will have a better answer for you as we get towards the end of that. Yeah. So far, it feels like a pretty standard survival game, collect resources, build items, that kind of thing. We are at the very beginning, of course, in the tutorial. Uh, I am seeing some people doing some, what looks like creative building around here. We'll have to see how far they're taking that. I'm also not sure, but like, if there's like a main story. So we're kind of exploring and looking for that. I will say there is a large skill system. Um, so that's, that's cool. I mean, it looks like we're earning stuff as we do things. There's perks to activate as well. An XP distribution mechanic. Don't gain or lose XP, lowered progress or raised progress. Looks like a lot of stuff is still locked. So... This is pretty developed. The world also seems pretty large. We've, we've pretty much spent our entire time just here so far. I don't know if there's like bosses and, and things of that nature yet. We'll have to see all that. Reinforced wood axe. Part of the wood, but only slightly. This axe is useful, but offers low effectiveness. Can we check the stats out on it? What's a, oh, it says logging skill there. Geocasting. Woodworking, smelting. Cooking. Survival and hunting. Outfitting. Where's, where's fishing? Mining. Okay. Alright, we'll just keep going with this for now. Uh, let's go to crafting. Need more linon. I think we need like two more flax. Wild Bill with the 84 months. Thank you, bud. Looks like this is not a solo game. Uh, well, you can clearly see there's lots of other players running around right now. I did not purposefully queue up with them. So um, it is, you know, looks to be a multiplayer experience in that regard. I did talk with the devs a little before this and they gave me some insight on, on how the, the server process works, but I'm still kind of exploring that myself and, you know, figuring that all out too. Yep. Uh, as a note, the play Corborn person in chat is one of the developers. So if you have any questions about anything you see, uh, they so far have been awesome about answering questions, so feel free to ask them in there too. All right, how are we doing here? Okay, we still need two more flax, which is the big blue one. Meg Lauder, Meg L. Lauder, is that is that from Meg? Is that you? Are you in chat, Meg? Hmm. <laughs> I know, I I know that name. There's a unicorn. I don't feel like I should kill it, but us kill Meg. Let's not kill Meg. All right, not right. Right now. Meg L. Otter says, yeah, that's me. Nice. Very nice. There's Titus. He was great in Final Fantasy. Uh, looking for the bright blue flax right now. Just a little co-stab on Meg. Oh my lord. Is this the game that Co is a producer on? No. Today's a sponsored stream. No, this is not the game I'm producing. Mm -hmm. Uh okay, let's see. Tiny armor patches. Tiny patches are designed to reinforce weak spots in armor, granting a slight bonus to defense when used. Actually, I actually use them? Like here? Oh. Cool. Okay. All right, so now we make more linen. What game is this? This is a game called Coreborn. Okay. Plus 15, plus 9, plus 5, plus 1. Plus 16, plus 9, plus 5, plus 1. Okay, cool. All right, let's run back. Another little piece of feedback. I don't know how feasible it is, but it would be really nice if the quest giver popped up next to you whenever you completed a quest. So you could actually like explore around and not have to keep running back to the same point. 
kind of be kind of nice. I mean, this is all tutorial stuff, so you know, just saves time. Mm -mm. I'll never get used to the amount of people who refuse to read titles. Unfortunately, yes, land. There's lots and lots of reasons that people may not see the right title or be in a position they can easily read it. That kind of thing. So, you know, it's 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 easier to just help people out than get mad about it, because a lot of times they just won't see it. Yeah. There's some. There's some. Uh, for instance, there are some Twitch apps where you have to actually click the screen and then click a button to see the title, and it's like. If you're going to make it that hard, <laughs> like, come on, man. You can't really blame people for not wanting to do that every time they join a stream. You got two of those now, right? I do. One for me and one for you. No, Perfect. I don't want you in pants. Hmm. Uh, who gets which one, though? Uh, you know what? Keep them both. Can make myself better ones later, and we should focus on crafting an axe anyway. Okay. Craft and equip a reinforced wooden axe. By the way, we are coming up on our first half hour. I want to thank uh, the devs, again, the Coreborn devs, for sponsoring the stream. There's more information in the command and the profile button below. Uh, this is today sponsored by not only the Coreborn devs themselves, but also, and correct me if I'm wrong here, Coreborn, Blancons. Am I saying that right? I think it's Blancons. Yep. And if I totally butchered that, I severely apologize. Oh, I did say that right. Okay, great, great. But what's it like having so much sway when you suggest improvements to creators may actually listen to you and use your ideas well it doesn't happen often i never i never i never say your ideas or do anything expecting devs to actually listen so when it happens it's always a nice surprise and appreciate it 